So where we last left off, we have been spending the last 24 hours in this treehouse in Costa Rica. But as it turns out, Costa Rica has some fantastic properties. And today we're checking into another one of the most unique properties that Costa Rica has to offer. Have fun. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hi. That was pretty neat, that was wasn't it? pretty cool. That was definitely a lot of fun. I was so nervous, but it was amazing. Oh, I can hear the monkeys as we're leaving. Back in the car park. How'd you sleep? I slept really well. What'd you see this morning when you went to the bathroom? A tarantula. Yeah. And you were super brave too, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, it was just a little baby one though. So it is time to go to breakfast now. Our lovely hosts are providing breakfast for us this morning. So I'm so excited to check that out. They've lived in Italy and Argentina and all over the world. So I'm excited to see what kind of food they prepare for us this morning. As that parakeets fly overhead. <laughs> I'm excited for breakfast, but I'm mostly excited to talk to them. Selena and Martin have been all over the world traveling as a family. They've been to 50 countries now. And I think for us as a traveling family, as parents of kids who are traveling full time, I'm so excited to chat with them and to learn from them. Wow, this is beautiful. This is so fancy. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. We have some homemade banana bread and regular bread. We've got a bunch of fruit. They gave us three different coffees to choose from by smelling and telling us the process of how they were made. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. What an incredible experience so far for breakfast. I'm just, I'm in love with this place. I've never done a coffee tasting based on smell before, but it was amazing that you could smell the different flavors even before it was brewed. I, I love this uh, fruit tray right here with the banana leaf and how they've displayed everything out here, the pineapple here, man, it just looks so good. So we have two different kinds of coffee that we're trying here this morning. This is, I can't remember what it was. Oh. It's like the, a honey it's, blend of coffee. It, I, I so didn't, they leave the coffee bean kind of Whole. Like they don't strip it down, and it's a sweeter coffee. And the way it that it smells really it good, it does smell really good. So they have these like portable, kind of like a pour over, <laughs> um, that you kind of hook onto your cup, and then you add the water in. It filters through, and you have the perfect cup of coffee. And then um, this is a different blend right here, a more yes, uh, typical it's, blend. You said it was a natural, a natural blend, but it's also sweet, a sweeter, less acidic. Um, coffee and it smells fantastic so this is what I'm going to try. I'm a chef tasting hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like your hot chocolate? Yeah. They haven't had chocolate milk in a while so this is quite the treat. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are settling into this amazing glamping tent and we want to show you around. So starting out here we have a viewing deck with a nice table and chairs for some good morning coffee. And the sound. And there's also a little sloth in a hammock that comes <laughs> along. <laughs> and then we'll move into the sleeping area. Right now we have all of this opened up, but very easily it kind of closes up to just a mesh net for sleeping. And this tent is incredible. It's very secure. It's very strong and it definitely keeps out the bugs, which is really nice. I definitely appreciate that. <laughs> See, we love being out in nature as long as the bugs stay outside. I don't like, I don't like bugs. No bugs crawling on us while I mean, we're sleeping. <laughs> We did see a huge spider outside this morning. That's so cool. So we have a very large bed that me and Brady have been sleeping in. And then we have two really nice twin beds that the girls have been sleeping in. They have loved having their own separate beds. 
Alexa's right by the window. She gets lots of air and at night. Speaking of air, one huge plus is this fan. Um, so at night we turn that on. We still have all of these windows open for the airflow to come in, but that's a nice feature in a tent like this. This is completely decked out with electricity, Wi-Fi, hot water, <laughs> and it's absolutely incredible. So this is, I think, this is proper the glamping. definition of glamping. <laughs> One thing that I've appreciated so much as you look around this property is all of the attention to detail, this furniture, the decor, the rug. All of these items, the family that owns this place have collected throughout their travels. And we'll see more of that as we walk around the property. So then at the front of the tent, you have a properly fully stocked kitchen with running water and a propane cooktop. And then you also have all of your plates and bowls and pans and a fridge. We've got our food here, so we're all set. So around the other side, across from the kitchen, we have the bathroom area and I absolutely love this. All of the detail and the decor is just absolutely gorgeous. I love this mirror and just how they have everything set up over here. One of my favorite parts, probably my favorite part, is the shower out here. And the amazing part is that it has hot water. So you can actually take a hot shower in the jungle. It's pretty incredible. So if you're not into the glamping experience or you don't wanna stay in a tent, at Colina Sigreta here, they have several different types of properties, including more traditional bungalows that have a more sturdy wall between you and nature. However, I still think that the glamping tent is the way to go. Well, I sail across seven seas Just to greet you down on my knees I'd swim to north a little behind the scenes look at our life. Heather does all the work. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Not true. You yeah. have to be a beautiful one. Um, so she does all of the editing and then we get to sit down and do a watch through and I take my <laughs> highlighter and my red X and cross things out. <laughs> I I do not make changes, so if he has any changes he wants to make, that's his job to make them. Yeah. <laughs> that's the way but, we work happily together. Yeah. There are monkeys right up in this tree. Three monkeys! You see them? There's three monkeys up there. I think the, the one that's closest to us has a baby with it. Be careful. Why? Those are howler monkeys. And what, what's that? What's the problem? They poop on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, we just spotted some howler monkeys in this tree. We just came to the beach to uh, enjoy the sun and the water a little bit today and we were greeted with uh, some cute little monkeys with a little baby monkey. Mommy! It's all! You'll be water in maybe five to ten years. Five to ten years. <laughs> 
and the jungle was exceptionally alive last night, starting with what I think were frogs um, as we were going to sleep, but they sounded like dinosaur calls, like the weirdest frog call or toad crawl ever. I'm not even sure if that's what it was. Um, and then this morning, the howler monkeys were just so alive and excited <laughs> and a little bit too early. Uh, but I did hear some rustling on the other side of the tent that I need to go check out. Oh man. <sighs> Something got into my food. <laughs> oh, good grief. They ate the entire loaf of bread. Surprisingly just nibbled on the bananas. I was going to use these for breakfast. This one's still good. Like a trail of bananas going out here. Oh yeah, really got into this one. Uh, just a bite taken off that, I can still use that. Well thankfully they don't seem to be that interested in vegetables because they did not touch anything except the bread and the bananas. But hey, I've learned my lesson. Hide the food away when you go to bed. Good morning buddy. Good morning. Guess what? what? The monkeys ate all our bananas. Seriously? Yeah, let's go see. <laughs> Is that all we had? Yeah, they ate all the bananas. <laughs> Cheeky little monkeys got our bananas. They also ate all of our bread. No! More grilled cheese! Oh, we'll get more bread, okay? Okay. Ooh, where's your favorite country? Oh, Australia? That's where you want to go next? Ugh. So gross. Ah! Go away, no. this is our no. home. Go! Shoo! 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 What oh. is it? Don't go under the tent! It's huge! Oh, ah! Oh, you got him! Here you go. There he goes! <laughs> Gone. So today we are checking out of Colina Secreta. We've had a beautiful, wonderful time here. It's been incredible. And today we are actually going to head on a chocolate making tour. I am so excited. We're actually going to be able to pick the bean and turn it into chocolate. It's gonna be amazing. Oh. <laughs> it is thick a little oh, bit yeah. of sugar. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. It's 100% chocolate. Oh my goodness, this smells it so smells incredible. so good.